to episode number 45 in this series where I am streaming, programming, an NES game live on Twitch. Let's get started. Um, starting a little bit later than usual, um, just because we had some unexpected guests show up, which was nice. It was good to see them, but uh, delayed the live stream, so we'll get right into that. Uh, basically, what, where we're at right now is um, we have the meta tiles loading, and the meta tiles are loading fine, and the game is running okay. Uh, but the problem we're running into is as we load more and more meta tiles, as we scroll, you can see we're getting these graphical sort of glitches. Um, the colors are not those glitches. Um, they're more so related to the little jumps and hiccups that we get. And that's because of the time uh, that we are spending in updating the meta tile um, and tile uh, name table in the PPU. So basically what we need to do is figure out how we can make that a little bit more efficient so that we can actually deal with the attribute updates because the other problem is that we've turned those off because they were taking too long and we were running into all sorts of problems um, with, uh, with the... Uh, we were running into all sorts of problems with the with the updates um, causing the screen to be all weird and jumpy because we were taking too long to update during the NMI and we were, as a result, seeing very strange problems. Um, so we have these breakpoints here. This one is for process scrolling and then we have this one That's not right. Well, let's remove that. <clears throat> so, when we're done, we basically are over here. So let's um, let's take a look at this because I think I had the breakpoint in the wrong place last time. Realistically. But even still, you can see that it's kind of all over the place. Let's slow down the emulation. So that gap let's restart here. <clears throat> what I want to try and do tonight is optimize that code. So that we can turn the attribute rendering or attribute updates back on and then see how that goes. What is going on here? Is the emulation just that slow? What, do I, what speed do I have it on? 3%? Yeah, I guess that's that slow. So this is scan line 246 at cycle 156. 246, 282. So that's that's not that bad, but then it jumps down pretty far when we actually do an update for the next row. It's down there. So we do start to kind of run out of time. Two fifty three cycle twenty nine, so we need to see if we can do better than that. We are forty six, so, so we're taking about seven scan lines, um, and that one went way over. I wonder. Oh, because that must have been a full meta. Yeah. So that was that was that wasn't even 
wow okay so that wasn't even just a row that was the full meta tile is going past the past the bottom there and um that's causing that's causing us to update way past the start of the new frame of video that the ppu is rendering you'll see once we get past the end of this row we'll end up back here when we get to the next meta tile so we've got to optimize that that's really really bad um I mean, the other thing we could do, if we can't make it fit within the NMI, I was thinking we maybe we could do that in the game loop since it's, I think it's locked to the 60 frames, essentially. And then we could do it and we'd have all of this time to calculate the next one. But then that's a pretty substantial change to the way that we're updating. <clears throat> And then if our game logic takes too long, more than a frame, then we might run the risk of not updating the background properly as a result. And you'd get some slowdown. So let's see what we can do to improve this. All of this code here, essentially, So we are basically talking up to here. So this code, let's see. How many lines is that? That's about 200 lines of code. What I was thinking is we have right now, right now we have a couple of counters that we're using. So we're using, we have one called scroll Y and then we have one called camera Y. Let's see, scroll Y, is that used in the actual scroll register? So scroll Y is actually used in the scroll register. could potentially move that update. I mean, if we move that update, then we actually do the scroll before we potentially update the name table, which it's not terrible, but I'd rather not do that. But so we have, we have the scroll processing that we're doing which is for the screen scrolling so let's make let's take a look let's keep track of this I wish I knew why this did this sometimes so we have the scrolling that we're doing then we have the camera counter which is essentially just a a value from 0 to 7 and then we have the meta tile counter well it's meta tile y really right and that's from 0 to 3 I'm wondering if we can reduce some of this because right now we're checking to see if we reach the value 8 and then we're resetting this to 0 and then incrementing this and what I was thinking of since the last stream was that we can we could actually combine these counters I think and what we would do is we'd have um, <clears throat> two, four. So these three bits in the byte would essentially be the camera. And then because we're incrementing this, 
when we get to eight, bit number eight, right? Because it's one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128 for the bits, right? So once we get to the value eight, it actually just so happens that this is just, it's just a bit here, right? And what we're doing is we're saying, okay, if that bit is set, then we need to reset these three bits to zero and then increment another counter. But I actually think we can combine the two and say, okay, the first three bits are our camera bits. And the second set of bits, which only has to go zero through three, make that our, uh, the meta tile Y. And once we get to the point where this bit is set, and these are zero, then we know that we need to load another meta tile. So by doing that, by doing that, that should reduce the amount of jumping and uh, or branching and checking that we have to do. We essentially, Just keep incrementing. Is there any other logic that we need to do here? No, we just keep incrementing until we get to the point where we've reached the value 32. And then we know it's time. Okay, <clears throat> well, not exactly. So what we need to do is what we need to say once we get to a point where bit eight is one, now let me think about that. So here, let's look at it in the calculator. <clears throat> so I have a value that I'm incrementing and Now we have two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now this is eight. And like I said, if this is just your camera Y, then we know what we were doing before is we were saying, okay, if it's eight, let's see here. Increment meta tile sub row. So that, that effectively, this part of the byte is the meta tile sub row. So we just keep, we, yeah, we just keep incrementing that. So we do, we keep incrementing that. And then let's see, branch equal increment. So what do we do here? We increment we reset camera Y, we load that, <clears throat> we're subtracting four. Mm. We're subtracting four because before we were just doing it one by one and then doing the multiply and that was unnecessary. So now we're doing the counting sort of the opposite way. We're, let me think, in this case, we are but it's just a counter, right? We're not using M tile Y for any calculate. We are using it here to M. Let's see. We're adding it to this to the to the meta tile value. Load meta tile value from the map data and then multiply by 16 to offset for <clears throat> the number of tiles per meta tile. Why are we adding m tile y to that? Oh, because, right, that's the offset into. Dun, 
that's the offset into metatile and it's reversed so we could do well let's see so if we I mean if we take that approach then it's somewhat simplified because we are it's somewhat simplified because we're now just doing a straight up increment where we're not even necessarily checking this being the value of eight to increment the next counter. I think, guess what I'm just trying to figure out is How do we know when we want to skip? We want to. We know we want to skip when we haven't. We haven't carried on the add within these three bits. So if we're doing. So basically, what we would want to do is we want to check. Those three bits to see if there's zero and if they are then that's not really that different than what we're doing now because then we still need to check I was hoping that this would be something that we could do this <clears throat> let's see hoping that we could do this without having to do the compare branch but rather just kind of barrel through it as appropriate. Hmm. If we do the eight increments, then we have to load the row within the meta tile. I mean, one thing right now, <clears throat> right now we are, let's see, right now we're looking up every, for the, so, well, that's for the meta tile, we're looking it up. We're grabbing that value and then we're doing the lookup and then we're shifting it and adding the offset so that's actually let's see skip row load so for skipping the row load, we don't have to do anything. If we increment to the next row, we may or may not have to increment to the next meta tile row. If we have to increment to the next meta tile row. Yeah, we don't have to look this up every time we could we could store that value so like what we can do is let's see where is this used next meta tile that's the loop but are we doing that oh lord we're we're looking we're looking up the meta tile value every time. That's no good. And then we're doing this add. Yeah, that's no good. Oh, wait a minute. Um, well, that's only no good when we don't 
when we're not switching to the next meta tile. So what we could do is we could have I mean, we'd still have to do the lookup just in another array of memory. So right now we're doing two lookups. We could, we could reduce that to, we'd still need to do the two lookups when it's a new set of meta tiles, but then after that we could reduce that down to one lookup in just Just the one lookup in a normal row load. I mean, that would help, but. And then this is the meta tile itself being loaded, that row. think about this so <clears throat> load a row so y is being incremented to get us each new meta tile and then we're doing the translation then we're shifting it We could save that. So we could do something like All right, we have those eight those eight bytes for the current meta tile position information. going to be zero so that would work so what we would do is after we're done with this we'd say store a into um, meta tile what did I call that current meta tile position <coughs> that works right so what I'm saying is okay after we we do the lookup and we do the multiplication store the value into current meta tile position uh, at the appropriate position and y will ev only ever be eight because we only need to read eight meta tiles um, So maybe what we do is we do this. We say load meta tiles. So basically what we're doing is we're preloading current meta tile position with the values and then what was that loop where's that jump meta tile so what we're what we'll do here is we'll load a with current meta tile position y right so we've 
we've done the translation here. And basically, we only need to do that. Um, load a meta tile flag branch not equal branch if you, uh, equal to uh, next meta tile. So we can skip that part of the code if we've already done this and we just read it directly from here. And M tile Y still gets used to do that. I don't know that that really simplified anything. I mean, it sort of did, assuming I didn't mess this up. Um, breakpoints are not going to be in the right position anymore. So that's here. And that's that and that. So let's see what this looks like here. So it loaded the row and then crashed on me. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> what is it looping on? <sighs> Compare to eight branch not equal. Zero. Load a transfer a to x. Why did that fail? <clears throat> so why zero load a transfer a to x? Look up, does the multiply. Store current metal. Yeah, increment y, compare, branch not equal. Should have. Oh, yeah. Compare y, not com. My mistake. All right. <clears throat> Helps if you compare against the right register. It 
doesn't look like it. All right, so much for that idea. Um, I feel like there's still something to this. I mean, the the main thing is going to be just whether or not I mean, you can do a mask of the other bits to see. And I guess there's a little bit less that needs to be done in order to track it. But at the same point, <clears throat> We're still We're still doing the update of Sorry, I'm kind of just really trying to think through what I can do to make this be a little bit more efficient with the, um, the way we're calculating the scrolling. So let's see. So <clears throat> that's F zero need to be EF. Uh Man, all right, so we can try turning this, the camera Y and the M tile Y into two, into a single counter. And that would consolidate it a little bit, but you're still at, at the end of the day, you still need to branch depending on if you need to load a new row into the name table and you still need to branch depending on whether or not you need to switch to a new row of meta tiles So, what 
what I was hoping I could do was, like I said, sort of simplify this whole logic to, well, I guess it does simplify it a little bit because I'm not dealing with two separate counters. Let's try that. Let's see. Let's, um, let's commit what we have here and, um, <clears throat> try this approach and then um, we can see uh, scrolling and tile loading working attribute buffer updates work but attributes are not being drawn because we're using too many CPU cycles in NMI so let's stage and commit that. And now we can feel free to kind of rip this apart. We can always revert it if we need to. So instead of having camera Y, well, let's do it this way. Right, so we'll leave this alone. We'll increment camera Y. We won't do this anymore. What we will do instead is we will uh, end um, three. And the reason, uh, sorry, seven. The reason we're doing that is, I should probably reset that. The reason we're doing that is because, like I said, if it, we're gonna do an and to clear out all the bits except for the first three, which those bits are seven. And, uh, and then if the value is zero, we know that we need to increment the meta tile sub row, except that we don't actually have to increment anything. We don't have to do this. We don't have to do that. Uh, we don't have to do that. We don't have to do that. We don't have to do that. Um, now what we need to do is we need to compare this to 32, which is two zero. And then this will increment to the next meta tile row. Other uh, branch of equal increment meta tile row jump. And, okay, so <clears throat> right, right. Okay, so here we're gonna say here we're just gonna load zero and stored in camera Y we need to set that and then we want to modify the row mem we get the screen memory properly set up row mem transfer into X blah 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 okay and then this is the other part that has to change so right now the way that this works is we were going from 12 Right, we had um, C, which is 12 in decimal, and we were subtracting four each time. Right, now what we're doing is this, we're essentially counting up from one to four, but we still need those offsets to work that way because we're scrolling up, so the meta tile offsets have to go from the bottom of the meta tile to the top. So what we would do is we load a 12, set carry. Well, actually we search, first we'd say load a um, camera Y uh, is it, uh, is there a arithmetic shift right? I don't remember. I don't think there is. I think it's just rotate, right? 
SR. Yeah, so it's just rotate right. So we need to do is we want to get rid of we want to get rid of and so we only need those two bits that are here so um, 8 and 16 so what is that uh, 24 is what next? 18. So we want to end 18 on that. So only get the metatile row value. And then we want to clear carry and then rotate right four times. All right, three times so that the value is in the right range. Oh, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. That, oh, that might work out well because what we wanted it to be was we wanted it to be a value that's from zero to 12. We might only have to just shift it over to the right once because we want to, if the value, for example, is eight, we want it to be, twelve minus four, let's move it over one. Yeah, that would work. So, okay. <clears throat> so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm shifting, so we're, I'm getting rid of any unnecessary bits and then I'm shifting this over to the right one because we're going to subtract it from 12, which is the value that we're using um, because the meta tiles. Why aren't you drawing? Where's the. Where did my pen go for the tablet? The, um, the meta tiles are laid out. So this is actually the beginning and we, we need to be over here and we're going to be going in this direction as we scroll up. So we know the start value we need to offset into that um, and scroll backwards. So we take that. Let's see. So that's fine. Let's store that in temp and then let's load A with that and set and then subtract temp. That would work. Let's see how that looks. It's, uh, nope. Uh, let's see, what did I mess up? the value of <clears throat> camera Y camera Y the value is 8 which is fine because we're loading a row I assume we didn't set that so that's good and then we're getting that so a has the value one and then we're doing the lookup and then we're shifting it oh <clears throat> yeah no we can't do that because 
because we need a um hmm. could use x at that point well no all right so transfer a to x load a blah 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 Then we'll do that, and then we'll transfer x back to, back to a, and then we will clear carry and add the 12, and then okay, I think that'll work. It's a little, little co more complicated, but we did remove some code from this part of it, so I don't know. I'm just kind of trying things here because I'm not exactly sure. It might be that this is all in vain and we'll have to move this into what is the game loop um, because that's the only way we're going to have enough time to process it. Now I'm missing an S. Let's reset here. All right, so load that, transfer, blah, okay. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to do that here. You got to watch where you're uh, putting those instructions. You don't want them in the repeat always, huh? All right, so okay, so now x has the value, right? And we're going to load a with the camera of y, and we're going to do an and, we're going to clear carry, we're going to rotate it right once. And we're going to store it in temp, and we're going to transfer x to a, and then we're going to add 12, and then we're going to subtract the value of temp, and then we're going to transfer that to x. Let's see. That's still not right. What was it before? What did I mess up? So this was doing this shift and then transferring A to X and loading the camera. Now this is and so it's doing the shift and then it was clearing the carry and adding the value to the offset, right? And then transferring that, that got transferred over to X. I guess the value also needs to be, this might end up being more complicated in a certain sense. So let's see. Um, so make that C4. So we're incrementing camera Y. We're doing the and here to see if we've gone to here where we need to increment the sub row we want to see if we need to do a full increment of the sub row otherwise we're just loading them um, or sorry a meta tile row otherwise we're actually going through the process of loading a whole new row so we load a zero and we store that in camera y because we're done with that for now 
and then the meta tile flag gets set that's fine we load the romam and we process that like we did before load new row comes in we get the the actual meta tile put that into x so that we can look it up i'm gonna take this out of the repeat just so it's easier to debug in messin now that we take the meta tile and we shift it by 16 to get our offset into the meta tile directly, we then transfer that into X temporarily. We then load A with the camera Y, which we were using before, and then we get the value by that we need by doing an end of 18. Right, I did that right. That's that's 24 to get yeah those two bits that we wanted and then we rotate it right so right shift one that'll give us 12 in that case right if it was eight And 24, um, not 24, um, not 24 hex, what is it, um, 18 hex? That gives us 8. Right, so it's just 4. And then we store that into temp. And then we transfer X back into A. X had the value of the meta tile offset that we needed. We're gonna add uh, 16 to it and then subtract the value of temp and that will give us what our X value is for this. That should be okay. So the question is why is it not working? Four. like I'm missing something obvious here. <sighs> so let's let's walk through this, right? So the first time through the value we're going to have is 8, which means we take whatever the offset is for the meta tile we add 12, sorry, we add 16, and then we minus 4, and that's going to give us 12 plus whatever the value is, right? Because uh, where is the other calculator? What we've been doing is we're just counting up, right? And as soon as we get to 7, we get to 8 here, now we're at the next the next metatel row. So now we do another count of eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we have one zero in those two bits. So it's one zero, um, 
it's uh, it's 10 hex, right? And we're saying we're going to end that with uh, 18 hex. And then we're going to right shift it by one. It gives us eight. And so then we're going to take whatever the value is of the offset that we calculate plus 12 plus plus 16 minus 8 plus 16 minus 8 so that's 8 so we're going to go 12 8 4 0 which is what it's supposed to do what it was doing before when we were just counting up we were incrementing by fours or we were well we were decrementing by four but it's the same we were we were doing um, sets of four. And that worked fine. So okay, let's let's look at this from here. So we increment camera Y, which is now one. We load it, we check, we, we do the and, and we check if it's zero. Otherwise, we're good. We don't need to load another row. That's what that, yep, that's fine. Do another one, we're good, another one. <clears throat> Good, another one, good. Put the breakpoint here. Six, seven. Now we're gonna get eight. So when we do the and, we're gonna get zero. So then we're gonna go to the increment. So now we're gonna check to see if it's the value 32, right? And it's not. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is it comparing against 32? It's checking the value that's in A, but we never reloaded it with the value for camera Y. Load A. So load A camera Y. We have to do that again because we've changed the value in A, which means that that's probably not evaluating correctly. So that might be the problem. So that's zero. So now we're going to branch. Now we're going to load it again. We're going to compare it to 32. Branch if equal, which it's not. So it's going to go to jump new, load new row. It sets up the screen memory. Zeroes out Y. Gets our meta tile. Calculates the offset in. It's 16. Oh, wait a minute. Why is it 16? Oh, because it's meta tile one. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So it's skipping the first meta tile, which would be meta tile zero. Transfers A to X, loads the camera Y, does it the end, clears the carry, rotates it, um, stores it in temp, transfers X to A, clears the carry, adds 16. So let's see. So it was one zero plus C one zero plus C four is D four. That's right because yeah. So it was at point sixteen at position sixteen for the first meta tile, and then we added. C4 to it, <clears throat> which is 16. Whoa, wait a minute. Hold on, what am I doing? I'm not, eh. I don't know where that C4 came from. That's the problem. Um, it shouldn't be 
I think I meant to do C plus four, and because I was talking, I just wrote C four. Um, so that's this. <clears throat> that's probably the problem. I was adding it way too much. Here, I bet that. It's sort of working. Interesting. So we should get the value we want when, let's see, we would be at um, one zero 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 is what it would be, which is hex 16, uh, one zero. So so now we would do that and that's equal we load it, we compare it to that. <clears throat> We're not quite there yet. calculate here All right so that's the next that's the next row and then you do that's the next row there and then that's the n is that only three rows? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, that's right. What is the problem? Camera Y is twenty. Hex. So we set that. All right. Let me. Um, Weird, why is it doing that? So let's take a look at the PPU here. <clears throat> Yeah, it's okay so far. We're, we don't have to do anything. We're just incrementing. 
So now we're at eight. Now we're going to check to see if we're at the next meta tile. We're not. Oh, I guess we technically we are. So camera Y. Okay, so that's that's part of the issue is that part of the issue is that camera Y isn't initialized properly and it uh, by load level anymore. used to be okay but it is no longer or was it even being done there where was it being initialized oh okay um so is that used here it is used here and then Increment that. So you're storing that there. Is that used anywhere else in this? No. So we're just initializing it here. And so what we need to initialize this to, we need to initialize this to a value where once we, once we, Needs to be a value where we immediately load a uh, load a row, right? Or no? The camera Y before it was zero, and we were just incrementing it. And M tile Y, what was M tile Y initial, initialized to at the end? M tile Y is. M tile Y was initialized to zero. So the first thing it would do is it would load a new meta tile upon. Okay. So this changes because we want this to be we want that to be one i think that's right because we want it to load the next meta tile immediately after scrolling the camera Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I messed up, I think. Calculate eight, and then this becomes one. And then you do another eight, and this becomes two. Do another eight, and this becomes and you do that another eight and this becomes zero. That looks right. Why why does this look weird? Is it because I'm doing the and with the seven?
Sorry, this is uh, mostly just me sitting here and kind of rambling about this one, but um, the um, I'm trying to get this to be from a from a processing perspective relatively straightforward, but I've obviously confused something here. Besides myself. Um, okay, wait a minute. I think I. Oh, okay. So this shouldn't be 1, 0. This should be. Let me think about that. <clears throat> it should be 1. Let me see. It would need to be 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. So what is that in hex? It's 18. Because we want, like I said, I, we wanted to load the new Metatile row once we scroll the eight pixels. So. Okay, let's load the new Metatile row. That's good. Now we're incrementing the flag. We're getting everything set up the way it should be. I mean, those that count is correct but I, I guess it's off by it looks like it's just off by one on the topmost row maybe we don't need it to be oh yeah okay right because what I was doing was I was yeah okay um, so let's see this see what was it it was um, the C, the 12th, it's um, one zero, where, where is that? I actually was fine just incrementing it by 12 and not by 16, um, because we don't want it to be, we don't want the first row to be the lap yeah no it's it's um, right because let me think about that 12 would be no no that was that's right because the f for first let's see so the first thing we would do is we would add 12 to it and subtract, sorry, we add 12, 16 to it and subtract, four, and then eight, and then 12, and then the last one would be 16, 4, 8, 12, 16, right? And then it should just be <sighs> let's see. Let's take a look at that here. take a look at what the value of temp is <clears throat> when we subtract it. So it's, why is temp zero? Temp should not be zero. Camera 
hammer y the value is zero. Oh, because I'm initializing it too early. That's why. Uh, that. So we don't want to initialize it because we need the value to be whatever it is that made us go into here. Uh, although that would, yeah, I mean, that's okay. That would be a problem in that part of the loop. Um, yeah, okay, so th that is a problem. We, we don't want it to do that. Uh, all right, so let's keep running here. Um, let's get rid of this breakpoint and put it back over here. Let's see, but that's still not right. That's still not right. That's too far. Did, it, did I not? Camera Y, 20. Oh no, okay, so. Uh, actually, so the values are zero. Okay. All right, no, that's good. So then I do need to change this back because for some reason, I guess I had it in my head that the value, or it was at one point, the value was one, two, three, and four, it looks like, but that must have been because of a mistake because it should should have been zero through, zero through three. So, yeah, that's zero, and we're gonna transfer it, and then we're gonna. <clears throat> then we're gonna load that, and store that, and that's zero again. Let's see that. That's looking better. It's still not a hundred percent right. Damn it. It may be. Actually, that might be because of using too many cycles, because it's sort of right sometimes and not right other times. the times it's not right it's doing that little jump which means that we're taking too long so damn it I assume the problem is ultimately just Crazy, but we can do this. Let's go tile fix. Where is that? is that the yeah the problem is now that those labels get repeated 
So is that how you do that? Let me just do so you could do an anonymous label. And what is it? Is it plus it's plus and minus colon? This is getting met minus minus and I assume plus plus. The only problem is that this is getting really messy. This is actually repeat eight. <clears throat> this way. the next label this one so we do this and we say colon plus plus and then this here how do you do that I don't know uh, CC 65 um, is it called an anonymous label I forget what kind of label. I forget what that's called. Oh, unnamed label. Oh, okay. So it's actually just one like that, right? That tell. That's the number. Yeah. So that's the number of labels you want to skip over. So I'm just saying I want to go to the next one. This I'm saying I want to go to this one. This is that. Sketch, skip attributes. Ugh, this is so gross. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I don't like this. Um, have to do that anymore we just go like this now what's the problem no reference to unnamed label 1431 <sighs> expanded from here 1379 Doing that right, but you have to do like that. That could be why. Let's see. to unnamed label. Let's just do symbol done with attributes. I don't know which one, what that was. Done with attributes, where was that? <clears throat> This may not accomplish anything. Increment attribute index. Plus, plus. But it's, I guess it's worth trying. 
1427, 1427 is the problem I'm trying to do. One, two, too many jumps at this point. One, two, three, four. That should. No. No reference to unnamed label. 1427, 1379. 1427. Let me get rid of this for a second here. Thirteen seventy eight. Thirteen seventy eight. No reference to unnamed label. Should that just be plus? Where's that? Colon ASL. Yeah, so this was skip tile fix. Branch not equal to skip tile fix. Oh, I guess, yeah, that's, that should only be one. Pair FF to this. Yeah. Okay, so that's what it didn't like. Um, okay, let me bring back my repeat, because I don't remember where that was. And then this should be this. So what it was complaining about was that there was an unnamed label that wasn't being used by anything. This is kind of crazy. I don't know how this is going to work. It's kind of better. It's not as bad. Still kind of crap. But that makes me think, let me, let me do this. Instead of doing this approach, Maybe that's all we need to do is unroll that loop. Let's stash these changes for a second here. Um, changed, uh, changed camera Y counter Camry, camera Y counter method. Let's see if we go back to this for a second. So this, let's verify that we're in a spot where this is actually working as expected. Yeah, so this looks this this looks like what we had before. Uh, obviously, the attributes are still wrong. That's fine. Um, let's try doing that same approach that we just did, where we unrolled this whole process. Instead of looping it. Next meta tile. So where's that next meta tile? <clears throat> Meta tile, so that's the end of the repeat. The other thing I'm thinking is we, we have this code in here that we're branching over so that we don't do the attribute updates, but maybe what we need to do instead of checking this every meta tile is we just have two separate parts of the code that handle that. And then that way we only have to check and branch once. Let's, yeah, you know what, let's do that first.
so instead of doing this here, let's take this out. So now we're done with that. And then we do this here. We say um, done with tile. Uh, finished with tiles, right? So we say this stuff here happens uh, where's that check? No more meta tiles finished with tiles. So basically we're skipping this whole process. Um, lo let's do this. Uh, load y zero. If it's not, we'll redo the. Uh, we'll do the second loop of eight for the attributes. Done with attributes, increment that, increment y, compare it with eight, branch of not equal to process attributes. Um, and then we're finished with tiles. So let's see what that looks like. So basically we just kind of change it so that we are not processing the attributes eight times for every meta tile, um, we broke it. Or I, I say we, but I broke it. Oh, I know what I did wrong. I did the same thing as before. Okay, so that's that's working and then assuming the attribute code is looking okay there then what we need to do next is what I wanted to do with the unrolling of the loop next meta tile so here we'll say repeat 8 and then the jump to next meta tile is here and the rep. And then we don't need that anymore. We don't need that anymore because we're no longer checking and comparing it. This actually that code becomes much simpler now. And then this goes away and okay well actually that's that might work much better let's see that definitely seems a little bit smoother let's see So we need to um, process scrolling. So let's do this. So we'll put that here and then we'll put it at the end of the attributes code. And that's we're finished with tiles. So now just make those markers for the event window. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah. Um, do attribute mode. I guess we actually want the breakpoint to be here. 
because we want to see it every time, not just when we make changes. That was a okay. So that was a meta tile load that was better because it wasn't it it hadn't wrapped around. It was still at the bottom of the uh, of the scan lines there. I mean, it's still not great, but it was definitely better. We were we were up here. So we did make an improvement there simply by doing the move of the code and then the unrolling of the loop. Hmm. Let's see what scan line we're at when we just reset the game here. Come on. Oops. Oh, damn it. Three. And then. What is it? Oh. Still not, it's still not a hundred percent right. I mean, the other thing is we're we're updating the sc scrolling here. Technically, I guess we should probably move the scroll update to here so that that happens. in a reasonable amount of time and not while we're drawing. That's weird. Why is that happening?
it's weird how that scroll is um it's like the scroll is actually jumping before it um why that's happening. The scroll is actually like jumping every time we wrote a load a row. Right? It's and it's weird because we're setting the scroll before we do any of that stuff so what would cause I wonder what would cause that to occur My thinking was I wanted it to happen before anything else. The interrupt handler wouldn't be affected by that because we're not, that's on a separate timer. We Let's see, we decrement scroll Y. Compare game, pause. Branch not equal to process scrolling. Otherwise, skip row load. So we do that, we compare it to FF. Branch not equal to done scroll. Otherwise, reset that and then that. So it would just be right here. We should just be able to do that update. But that still seems not to, not to like that. That's very weird. Why would that be messing with the scroll? Two thousand five, two thousand five. I guess just the the fact that we're modifying the row the the name table I wonder if the updates to the name table because we've set the scroll are causing the issue so if we take those updates out really so we're even without updating The name table. It's still still causing a problem. Is it the two thousand six updates? Okay, so that's what it is. So changing the address after the scroll has been set is what's causing the problem. Okay, well, so we can't do that. At least now we know why. All right, so we can't do that. Hmm. 
So then the other thing we were, I was looking at doing was unrolling uh, this part here. Which make this work like that. So we done with attributes. So branch done equal plus 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 skip mask change that's just plus and then this becomes this and this becomes that and then that's the end of that we don't have to do the compare we just do end rep so now not in range uh 1368 1368 of course uh, branch not equal to This goes to here. Process attributes. And in the end, uh, okay, that looks pretty good. I don't see any. That, that appears to be pretty smooth. Let's take a look at the event viewer here. Let's go back and turn on our marked breakpoints. Let's process scrolling and go to location. So that's not that anymore. It's finished with tiles. Actually, no, that's not it either. Let's see. It's this here. Looks like we're still just barely not making it. Yeah, so we're we're right up there. It's still still too slow. Still too slow. And that's done even with actually updating the attributes. Right? If we add that in, we're definitely going to be too slow. Expected end of file. Oh, yeah, so we're still oh. 
All right, so. guess then what that means is that what we realistically need to do is process we can do all the processing for I guess what we can do is we can do all the processing for where we are in the map and the attribute updates in the game loop based on what has to happen and then in NMI, we just literally deal with the result of that. So if we have to load a new row, we do just the, the, low ro the, the row load. And then we handle the attribute update. And I guess that would work fine because the amount of time that it adds to the game loop is pretty minimal. It's really the it's it's really that the NMI has such limited time by comparison. So the only question I have then is let's uh, let's revert this back. So if we're at this, I just want to make sure that the way things are set up that we're getting a locked loop that processes 60, 60 times per second so that we make sure that we're not running going to run into a problem where it gets out of sync. Um, <clears throat> so let's see, where is the game loop? Um, so here, so increment frame count. Uh, oh, I closed, me closed messing. Okay. So debug, open up memory, please. That, uh, let's go back up to the top. Oh, not draw entities. Um, I want my code in shooter ASM. Let's look at the frame count position. Where is that? That's address A5. So basically what I want to do is I want to watch this and then I also want to have a breakpoint here and it should be a one increment every time. So let's see, so 58, right, I said. A5, sorry. So that's 63. So it should be 64, 65, 66, 67, 60. Okay. want to make sure that we're actually seeing that increment okay so that's that's incrementing in lockstep with each frame that we render so 
basically what we want to do then, and this isn't going to be just a cut and paste, because what we need to do now is we need to do our processing for for this. What we need to do is we need to say, okay, let's do all of this processing for scroll Y and camera Y and M tile Y and do all of that so that when we get to the NMI the only thing it will need to do is it'll need to know do I need to load a new row and if I do it's going to loop through and do the load and there's going to be a buffer of eight bytes that has the row of meta tiles in it so that it doesn't have to pro bother loading all of that stuff. I think that's going to work. And then the attribute memory would also be processed in the game loop so that we don't have to do all of this logic here in NMI. And then it would simply do the process of updating the attribute memory one row, or actually it would be two rows potentially. Right now we have it set that it's doing the entire attribute buffer. Um, actually not even, that's half the 32. It's 64 bytes. If we want to up do the updates, we have to do 64 writes to 2007. Um, we could make that be either eight or 16, depending on if we're in split mode or um, if we are in uh, the non-split mode. So I'm going to stop here because it was a much longer stream than I anticipated. Um, I was hoping that some of the changes I would make would um, buy us that time that we needed in the NMI, but it looks like that it's just too complicated to process there and we should just kind of restrict it down to the updates to the uh, the PPU and not the um, not the logic for handling those updates so that'll be for Monday um, but you know we we hopefully uh, I, I, I feel like we covered a lot there we kind of tried to do some creative things I, I mean it's not really doing all that much compared to what it could be um, and so I think that that's really, we're just trying too much in here based on the amount of cycles that we have available. Um, but yeah, so that'll be for Monday. That shouldn't be too hard. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can find me on Twitter at Clairvis. I'm on Nintendo Age in the discord and um i'm doing these streams monday and thursday 9 p.m eastern time on twitch and thanks for watching and i'll see you next time